Hi, my name is Catherine, and like all of my colleagues at Maxi Zoo, I am trained in pet care and nutrition. Today, we've made this video to help you choose the best bowl for your dog. Firstly, I'll talk a little about materials. For instance, stainless steel bowls are hygienic, they come in a range of shapes and sizes, and perhaps most importantly, they're extremely durable, so they are the best choice for a dog who chews heavily or can be destructive. Plastic bowls, on the other hand, are lightweight, they're cost effective, they're available in a range of colours, and also many of the designs have non stiff bases. Ceramic bowls are heavy, they can't be tipped over easily. Due to their nature, they can be painted a variety of designs and colours too. Melamine is a new material which we stock here at Maxi Zoo. Melamine combines some of the best properties from the other bowl types. It has the durability of stainless steel, it has the weight of ceramic bowls, and most importantly, it has the colour and design choice of plastic bowls. There are occasions when you may need a special type of bowl for your pet. For instance, double bowls. Double bowls are ideal if you live somewhere where you need to confine your dog's eating space. They also can't be tipped over easily by puppies, cats or kittens. If you have a large dog, an old dog or a dog with arthritis, you may find that a raised bowl is the correct choice as this will help ease any strain on them when they're eating and give them extra comfort while they chow down. Food dispensers are a great idea if, if you work long hours or if you want to feed multiple pets in a household. They use gravity to dispense food and water throughout the day to ensure that your dog's bowl is constantly topped up. Weighted bowls are a great idea if, you, if your dog eats outside or perhaps if your dog tends to tip over their food on the floor or anything like that. And lastly, anti-gulp bowls as shown here. They are the ideal choice for a dog who wolfs down their food or perhaps doesn't pause to chew as they improve satiety of the food, which means your dog gets more satisfaction when they eat, and also they aid digestion. Some other considerations when you're choosing your pet bowl are the size of your dog. If you have too large a bowl for your dog, you may find that they struggle to get the food out, that they overeat, or that they walk through it and create a big mess. If your bowl is too small, you may find that you don't have enough room to give your dog all of its food, or more importantly, enough water to last the day. If you have a certain breed, you may want to choose a certain bowl. For instance, a spaniel bowl is shaped so that their ears don't get messy by dangling in their food. Or if you have a Labrador who is famed for gulping down their food and being a greedy eater, the anti-gulp bowl may be the best choice. Age is also a factor. We generally don't recommend plastic bowls for young puppies because they often chew and as such they could destroy the bowl and perhaps ingest some of the material. Raised bowls are a great choice for old dogs as we've already mentioned and as we already said, weighted bowls are ideal for outside. If you have a slippery floor and need to contain mess, I suggest a raised bowl, a double feeder, or perhaps even putting a food mat under your dog's bowls. Thanks for watching our video today. I hope you found it helpful. And remember, if you need any more advice, call into your local Maxi Zoo store. Locations can be found on our website, maxizoo.ie.